हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जेसोमेनिया व्लॉग्स आई होप ऑल आर डूइंग गुड माई लास्ट वीडियो इफ यू रिमेंबर वॉज अबाउट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर एंड सक्सेसफुली क्लियर योर थ्योरी टेस्ट फॉर द यू के ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस इन योर फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट फॉर दोज हु हैवन सीन इट येट यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो डाउन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल क्लैरिफाई एंड एक्सप्लेन द थिंकिंग ब्रेकिंग एंड स्टॉपिंग डिस्टेंसेस many people struggle in their theory test when it comes to questions regarding these distances so what are the differences between the thinking distance braking distance and stopping distance so let's first understand what is thinking distance thinking distance is the distance traveled between the time the need to brake is realized and the time it takes to activate the brakes that is thinking distance is approximately 1 foot for every mile per hour you are traveling at so for example if you are traveling at 20 mile per hour then your thinking distance is approximately 20 feet likewise if you are traveling at 40 mile per hour then your thinking distance is approximately 40 feet now what is braking distance braking distance is the distance your car travels after you have applied the brakes until your vehicle comes to a stop the faster you are traveling the more momentum you have and the braking distance will increase now the most important what is stopping distance stopping distance is the total distance you travel before you apply the brakes plus the distance you travel while the brakes slow you down in simple words thinking distance plus braking distance is equal to your overall stopping distance one more thing it's worth noting that the estimated stopping distance formula is based on the driver not being distracted or impaired driving a well maintained vehicle and in normal dry road conditions this image best describes the stopping distance formula for example if you are traveling at 20 mile per hour then your thinking distance will be 6 meter and your braking distance will be 6 meter which comes to a total stopping distance of 12 meter or 40 feet or if you are traveling at 30 mile per hour then your thinking distance will be 9 meter braking distance will be 14 meter which comes to a total stopping distance of 23 meters or 75 feet here is a great way to remember the overall stopping distances Starting from 20 mile per hour, you simply have to multiply the speed by intervals of 0.5, beginning with 2, like 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, etc. For example, if you are traveling at 20 mile per hour, then you have to simply multiply it by 2, is equal to 40 feet. And if you are traveling at 30 mile per hour, you have to multiply it by 2.5, that is 75 feet. Or if you are traveling at 40 mile per hour, then you have to multiply it by 3. that is 120 feet and so on these calculations are a simple way to help you remember the correct stopping distances but please be aware that these are approximate the overall stopping distance is really the only safe separation gap anything less than this can be considered a risk let us also understand what affects overall stopping distances you must always remember that the overall stopping distance of your vehicle depends greatly on a considerable number of factors like how fast you are traveling if you are traveling at a high speed you will have to leave more time to brake whether you are on a level road or a hill going up or down and the steepness of that hill whether is it good and dry or is it wet or icy tires are they good tires and properly inflated or worn or badly inflated brakes are they working well are they stopping you in a straight line your ability as a driver are you ill tired on medication have drunk alcohol are distracted all these factors can affect your reaction when applying brakes remember that being distracted while driving will reduce your concentration on the road using a mobile phone is illegal while driving for a good reason but you should avoid playing around with the radio the heating or air conditioning or the satellite navigations then of course there's the distraction from other passengers whether that's your friends or family 
let us also understand what is separation distance. The separation distance is simply a safety margin or empty road between you and the vehicle in front. Separation distances are essential to allow you time to see and react appropriately to any potential or developing hazard. Before concluding, I would like to say that please make sure you read every question thoroughly. One very common occurrence is that candidates do not read the question properly and as a result mark the incorrect answer when being asked about stopping or braking distances. Always make sure that you read every driving theory test question at least twice on the day of your test. But most importantly, take your time. Obviously, you are not going to score additional points for finishing your test early. So make good use of the allocated time you have to read every question and possible answer thoroughly. If you find the video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, share it with your friends and family members so that they can also benefit from it. Subscribe. Those who haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe. And please also press the bell icon and comment. If you have any suggestions or any queries, you can just comment below. And stay tuned to Jesuminia Vlogs for future updates. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.